This tutorial will show how to use the T-Splines for Rhino plugin to create this dolphin from start to finish using a box modeling workflow. Now when doing a box modeling workflow it's important to start with good reference images. So at the beginning we've created some reference images and then we'll place them in the scene using the Rhino picture frame command. With these in place the next step for doing a box modeling model is to start with a box. So we've used the TS box command, turned symmetry on in the options, and then added enough faces to describe the curvature of this dolphin. So now we'll move the, the model into place and then toggle from the smooth T-spline view, which is the actual how the actual surface looks, we'll toggle to box mode, which you can see is is boxy. And the benefit of this is that it's a little bit faster to work with and also allows you to more easily see the topology, the, the faces, edges, and vertices of the model. So in box mode, we'll use the T-spines manipulators to position the control points in a way that they follow the curvature of the model. So we're using the, the T-spines translate and uh, scale manipulators here and we're toggling back and forth between them using hotkeys. You can discover the, the T-Spines hotkeys by typing in the TS options command and the hotkeys will be active as long as the T-Spines heads up display is on and that's that that box in the top right hand corner of the active viewport. So as we're moving the, these control points around um, we're just shaping out the the general shape of the dolphin. You can see that we've skipped the fin as we'll do that later by an extrusion and now that we have kind of the, the boundary of the control points done we'll just move the control points in the middle to make sure we have some control positioned near the interior features such as the side fin and the face. So now that we've we've completed this in the right view now we switch to the top view and we'll do the exact same thing. Now you can tell by, by the green line in the top view that this is the axis of symmetry in the model. So we only need to work on control points on, on one side of the model and the control points on the other side of the symmetry border will update automatically. So we'll just complete this just as we did on the side. It's okay to move the control points up closer, just like that. And now that we've we've done this in both the top and the side views, we'll switch to the T-spine smooth mode to see what the actual model is looking like in the perspective viewport. And we can move control points now in the perspective viewport to give a little bit more nuanced curvature to the model. So now we'll stay in the T-spine smooth mode and you can again you can toggle between the smooth mode and the box mode either by by hitting the TS smooth toggle command or just by hitting tab when you when you're in T-spine's edit mode with, when that display box is up in the right hand corner of of the active viewport. And now that we're in smooth mode, we will just go ahead and and again position the control points so that they are alongside the so, that, so they're, that they're lining up with the borders of the reference images. So it's, we can get a, quite, quite close to the actual reference image here. And, and the nice thing is we have such few control points that it's easy to keep the model fair as we're doing this positioning. So the next step, now that we have the general shape of the dolphin body, is to make the dolphin nose. We'll do this by using the T-spines extrude command, and this will actually add new geometry. So we've selected the so two T-spines faces, and now we just hit the T-spines extrude command icon, and we can repeat this, and we're actually adding geometry to the surface. And the nice thing about adding geometry through a T-spines extrusion is that this new geometry is still connected to the rest of the surface and it stays smooth. So even as we're moving these control points around, 
there won't be any kinks or gaps or cracks between the nose and the rest of the body. It's just one single smooth surface. So just as we shaped out the, the main part of the dolphin body by doing it first in the right view and then the top view, we'll do that same thing with the nose. So we got it done in the right view and now we're moving to the top view and moving those control points into position. And this technique works quite well so you can look in the perspective view now of getting the correct shape by working in it just in the orthogonal viewpoint viewports. The third step now is to add some more detail to the face and we'll be using some new T-spines commands for this that we have not used before. Uh, this is the T-spine subdivide face command and what we'll do is we'll, we'll subdivide all the faces in the entire model using the exact mode. So the surface has not changed at all but we've just added some more detail. Um, when you do that an exact subdivision it will turn symmetry off so right now we're just making sure that all of the control points along control points along the symmetry plane lie on the axis of symmetry and then using the TS symmetry command to add symmetry back into the model. So now we're we're back with the same shape of the dolphin model but now we have uh, more more control, more faces to work with. Now we need to add a little bit more control just to part of the dolphin model to add more detail to the face and to do this we're using the T-spines insert edge command and what this will allow us to do is to add more detail just in one local region. This is a unique feature available in T-splines to give local detail and to have it tee off and not continue out through the whole rest of the surface. So the surface will stay curvature continuous smooth at that T point and give us the detail that we need to add some more features in the face while keeping detail away from the rest of the dolphin model so that it's easier to keep that fair. So now as we're moving the control points on, on the one side of the dolphin model, since symmetry is still on, it's updating on the other side as well. And now that we've added detail there, go ahead and check the model and then we'll add some more detail along the nose so that we can model the mouth. And then we'll use that same process of, of right clicking on the TS insert edge icon. And there's, there's two different ways to add detail to a T-spine. There's the exact mode which is what we did when we subdivided the faces and then there is the simple mode and that's what we've been using here with the insert edge command. Uh, the difference is that the simple mode will allow the surface to change slightly. That's fine in, in instances like this where we know that we're going to be moving the control points anyway. Um, but the exact mode is very useful when you already have the model and you, and you don't want to have anything warp, um, such as we did with the global dolphin shape. We were able to use the exact mode. Now let's kind of take a look at how this is how this is looking. 